Hey, what is going on gamers? My name is Dr. Redstone. Welcome back to another episode over here on the Redstone Archive. This episode is a special request from my buddy Flume. He wanted to know exactly how you can go ahead and get your Minecraft server chat integrated with your Discord. So without further ado, let's get into it. And needless to say, all the links will be down in the description below. Here is from Erd Beer Bear LP's website. This is how you get set up with Discord integration. Now that is not gonna be what I'm using in this episode. I'll show you exactly what I'm using. First and foremost, we need to go through and create our bot. And we'll go ahead and click on this right here. That's gonna go ahead and bring us over to this page. You might need to go ahead and get signed in. I, of course, am signed in with my Discord. And let's go ahead and click on new application and we're going to call this testing bot of course click the terms and services click create now that's going to go ahead and bring us to this page i definitely recommend setting up some sort of app icon uh, so you make sure and have that one you go ahead and put in your description if you got a couple different bots application id is going to be something that you're definitely going to want to remember but first and foremost let's go ahead and come on down here to bot and we're going to scroll down here to the bottom privilege gateway intent we're going to turn all three of these on and make sure and hit save changes and now that we got that set up we can go ahead and head back to general information like i said this application id is going to be important let's go ahead and copy this one and we'll head back over to the quick tutorial setup guide uh, we're going to go and scroll on down. If you are in dark mode, by the way, there is this bar here. It's very hard to see. So we're going to go and do this in light mode. We're going to go ahead and copy that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and click invite. And that's going to go ahead and bring up your discord and see what servers you want to go ahead and get this thing added to. Obviously, we're going to go testing server for AI. That's what we'll go ahead and bring this one over to and click continue. Now it's going to go ahead and ask us if we want to allow all these things. I normally just let it do everything because when AI decides to take over the world, I think I'm going to be okay with it. Authorize and it is successful. Now that should be over in our discord. So if I come on over here into my discord, you can see over here, we have our testing bot. That one's okay. And it is invited into our server. Now that we're over here in our discord, come on down here to the bottom left. Go ahead and click on this user settings. And you want to come on down here to where you can see app settings, scroll down to the bottom of that where it says advanced. And you do want to make sure that developer mode is enabled or else this is not going to work. Go and click escape. And now we can back out of here. Now we need to go and find our discord bot our Discord mod of choice. This is the one that I use, Discord MC Chat. Now, Discord integration, status bot, and most of these other ones work the exact same, but in this particular instance, Discord MC Chat is the one that I have had the least amount of trouble with. I'm downloading over here on Modrinth, of course. So we're gonna go over here to versions. We're gonna go ahead and click game versions, and let's just say 1.21. So here we got for fabric and quilt. We're going to go ahead and download this. Well, I guess I don't need to download it. You know exactly what we need to do. All right. Now that we have this downloaded, I'm going to be over here in Felix nodes. That's where I have a couple of my different servers. And we're going to want to go ahead and come over to the mods folder. We want to make sure and take that discord MC chat dot jar. Obviously, the version is going to be a little bit different and put that in our mods folder. And then you're going to want to go ahead and run your server. Now, unfortunately, the first time that you do run it, it will basically fail because it created some files and you need to go ahead and bring over some information for those. And then we can go ahead and get that restarted. If we jump into the config file, we're going to see there's a Discord MC chat folder and then there's two JSON files. This bottom one is going to be the one that we want to jump into Discord MC chat dot JSON. And I've got two things here that I need to make sure and input for one, our bot token. That's going to be very important. So if we come on back over to our discord, our discord.com where we went ahead and created this bot, we can go ahead and click bot. Let's go ahead and reset this token. Yes, do it. All right. And now we have a token right here. Let's go ahead and copy this token and we're going to go back over here to Felix and we're going to put that one in there right now. And then channel ID, we need to go in over to our discord. And I guess we'll just say it's going to be over here and maybe like our general uh, general text chat. I think that's going to be good. So we're going to right click here. We're going to copy channel ID. 
and come back over here to Felix. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that one into here. So again, we need to make sure that our bot tokens in here as well as our channel ID. We're going to want to come down here and hit save. Obviously, that's going to look a little bit different depending upon what your server and everything's like that is set up with. But I have no doubt that you know exactly what your file manager and your file system looks like. So this one should be easy for you. And last but most certainly not least, we're going to go ahead and come on over here to our server settings because we do want to come over here to roles and make sure that we do have a bot role and also make sure it's set up for our testing bot. So let's come on over here. We can edit this one, click over to permissions, and we want to make sure that all of these are set up accordingly. Obviously, go through them. Obviously, we're going to want to send messages and everything like that. Attach files, reactions, probably not going to be happening something with your bot, but definitely something good to go ahead and again, the world's going to get taken over by AI, definitely allow it to happen. And with that basically being all done, all you have to do is go over, click and start your server and everything will be up and running. You shouldn't have any problems with that one. If you do, definitely let me know down in the comment section below or hit me up on Discord. Definitely always happy to help. But that is gonna be absolutely everything for me. If you guys need any help or have any questions in terms of Minecraft related content and stuff like that, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Definitely be happy to help. This channel is primarily kind of like my backlog of everything that I've learned in Minecraft. So if you guys have any particular questions, definitely let me know. I'd love to make those videos for you guys. And as always, this is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks YouTube.